I'm Tom Robinson. I'm a presenter on Six Music, but uh, also in another life was uh, the leader of the modestly named Tom Robinson Band. And in 1976, um, I formed the band without any members. I went round to all the venues that I knew from uh, a previous band I'd played with and said, will you give us a gig for my new band? And uh, the next thing I had to do, once I got a line, load of gigs lined up, was uh, find some musicians who would play for me at those gigs. So I called up all the uh, drummers I knew, all the bass players I knew, and slotted them in for different nights to see uh, who would play on which night so that I'd have a band to turn up with. And then I had to write some songs. And at that point, it was important to write some songs with as few chords in them as possible so that you could learn them during the sound check. And I've always felt that songs with the fewest chords in them possible are, are always the best songs. So um, this was one that I wrote in 1976, which only has three chords in it, effectively. Uh, and it doesn't change the sequence in which they come. It just goes all the way through, always with the same chords. And the chords are basically A, E, and D. But the thing is, with any um, really simple song, the thing that makes it individual and not just like something really boring is the way in which you play those three chords. The main riff started out going... And those little pushes on the beat, you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now, being the bass player, I needed to st make the song work around the bass line. So the fundamentals of this song is the bass part, which is just... And then to spice it up, you have a little push. And then the guitar part had to go on top of that. So originally in the band, there'd be two people playing. The guitarist would be doing all the fancy stuff, and I'd just be plonking away there on the bass and singing on top of it. So to try and play it for you now, I have to try and do both lines. So I use my thumb here to play the bass. And in order to do that, I've got to play different inversions of A, E, and D. A is moved up to here. It's like one of those, but just the inside fingers with the bass held on with a thumb. Instead of playing an E, you play the E. It sounds different, it gives it a bit more interest. But, and then move it down. And then you can do a real E. And then back to A. then we need some words. So I made some up. They don't really mean anything. I don't know what a Fairlane Cruiser is, but I stuck one in here, and here are the lyrics and the chords and the song all at one. Drive my truck midway to the motorway station. Fairlane Cruiser coming up on the left-hand side. Headlight shining, driving rain on the window frame. Little young lady start a stitch in her eyes. Two, four, six, eight, never too late. Me and my radio trucking on through the night. Three, five, seven, nine on a double wide line. What a waste, sun coming up with the morning light. Whiskey sitting pretty on your two wheel stallion. This old ten ton lorry gotta be on you. Ain't no use sitting up with a bad companion Ain't nobody get the better of you, no And it's two, four, six, eight, never too late Me and my radio trucking on through the night Three, five, seven, nine, on double white line Motorway sun coming up with the morning light And then you have to have the kind of traditional guitar solo here where Somebody else comes on and does all the difficult stuff. Incidentally, if you're singing backing vocals on this, the important thing is don't try and put harmonies on it. There's a backing vocal part, which is just simply the root note. Two, four, six, eight. And 
then three, five, seven, nine. Three, five, seven, nine. And then just, when you've done two verses, two choruses, and there's been a guitar solo, something else has to happen. It's, it's the law. You have a middle eight or whatever, or a song just gets dead boring and it doesn't really stay with people. So you need a bit of relief from all that. So I didn't want to change the chords. I didn't want to put anything difficult or complicated in there. So we just had it go slow instead. So there ain't no route you could choose to lose the two of us. Ain't nobody know when you're acting right or wrong. No one knows of a roadway leading nowhere. I'm gonna keep on driving home on the road I'm on. Two, four, six, eight, never too late. Be my radio trucking on through the night. Three, five, seven, nine on double white line. Motorway sun coming up with the morning light. That same old motorway sun coming up with the morning light. Motorway sun coming up with the morning light. Two, three, four. And then you go back and have another guitar solo there. It's just to give a little bit of variation. But if you're writing songs, I'd recommend keep it to as few chords as you can. Keep it dead simple. And then other people can play them very easily. And it kind of spreads its way out there. Keep the chorus simple. I nicked the idea actually off gay pride marches, which I used to go on a lot at the time. People used to go chanting, two, four, six, eight, gay is twice as good as straight, three, five, seven, nine, lesbians are mighty fine. And uh, I thought, well, if a thousand people can chant that all together, I should make a good chorus for a song. <laughs>